What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at the Arco sub -ohm tank by Horizon Tech. Twenty-six millimeter diameter with a five milliliter capacity. Um, it has an easy two-hole top fill that you fill by simply just turning the top cap, fill it up, turn it back, and vape. Um, adjustable airflow. It has three airflow openings on the bottom, and they measure ten point eight millimeters by two point eight millimeters. Um, it does also stop in both directions, which. I like, and it does have some nice knurling on the bottom. All right, these coils are a little different. Um, they use flax paper, and they still use cotton, but the flax paper is wrapped directly around your coil, and then the cotton follows the flax paper. Um, there is two coil heads that are available for this tank right now. It's an A4 coil and an A6 coil. Um, they're both 0.2 ohms, but the A6 coil is rated for 80 to 90 watts, and the A4 coil is rated for 70 to 80. The A6 coil is a sextuple coil, and the A4 coil is a quadruple coil. The A6 coil has three 3 millimeter coils inside it, and the A4 coil has one large 8.75 millimeter coil inside it. Um, and there's four strands of wire for the A4, and then there's two strands of wire on each coil for the A6, so that would give you your six and so on and so forth. Um, all right, the glass is vacuum plated, so the paint on the outside is actually adhered to the glass using a vacuum plating technique. Um, one thing I want to tell you is that if you're not careful, you can scratch the glass. I mean, it's not going to scratch just by, you know, rubbing your fingernail or anything on it. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of doing, but it can be scratched. So the Arco tank is available in four colors. You can get stainless steel, black, blue, or rainbow. All right, so with all that said, let's dive down. We'll take a closer look at everything. I'll show you guys the coils, and then we'll come back up top. We'll vape it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. See you down below. All right, so here is the box that the Arco tank comes in. Inside the box, you will get a spare five milliliter glass. You will get this A4 coil. It's a 0.2 ohm rated for 70 to 80 watts. And it is a gigantic macro coil. It is a parallel macro coil. 8.5 millimeter diameter. And if you look, you can see the flax paper that's wrapped around the coil. You will also get this baggy with some o-rings and your top fill gaskets you will get this little guitar pick and i will show you what this is for in a little bit and then you will get this little pamphlet it tells you about the two coils refilling steps that's it all right and of course you are going to get the Horizon Tech Arco sub ohm tank. So this tank is 26 millimeters in diameter. It stands 54 millimeters tall from the base to the top of the drip tip. So here is your drip tip. You can see it is a sleeve style drip tip. It measures 12 millimeter in height and 13.5 millimeters in diameter. All right, here is your top fill. So all you're gonna do is grab your top cap, spin it, and there's your fill ports. Your fill ports measure 8.8 .8 millimeters by four millimeters. So spin it, fill it, spin it closed. All right, so here is your airflow, your adjustable airflow on the bottom here. 
you have three 10.8 by 2.8 millimeter airflow holes and the AFC ring does stop in both directions. Here's your base, nice clean base, no writing or anything like that and you can see your gold plated 510 pin. Alright, so let's pull this tank apart real quick and let's start by showing you why they gave you this guitar pick. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the pick, stick it in here and loosen this collar. Loosen the collar. You can pop your fill plate off and replace your o-rings here or your gaskets and the only reason you would need to do that is if for some reason you need to replace these gaskets or you want to clean it now you can go play guitar if you want all right so here is your chimney section and what i want to point out because of that little collar that threads down in there your chimney section starts out at 8.5 millimeters diameter it tapers down to 7.5 millimeters in the middle and then once you get back up top it opens back up to 8.5 millimeters so now you're going to take this section pop your glass off just by kind of wiggling it and there is your glass section it's a vacuum plated colored glass gorgeous i mean i love it absolutely love this here is your pre-installed a6 coil head now if you look you can see the flax paper that wraps around each individual coil and then you have japanese organic cotton wrapped around that there is the inside of the base and you can see how it makes connection with your coil head all right I mean that's really pretty much it with this tank I mean there's not much to it not much to a sub ohm tank it's not like I'm putting a build or anything in it so now what you're gonna want to do is prime this coil head up and what I like to do is pretty much just bleh, the juice right down in the middle So that's pretty much all I do. Just prime this bad boy up. All right, once you get that primed up, what I like to do is take and pop the glass on the top section. It just makes it that much easier for insulation. So you got the glass on here. Screw your tank back together. All right, so now you got the coil all primed up. It's time to fill the tank and grab your top cap and just spin it. The only problem that with this top cap is if you're using a dropper bottle, you're going to tend to make a little bit of a mess. All right, now you're going to close that up and you're ready to vape. Nice thing is they gave you these little windows here so you can see your juice level. All right. Look at that. How can you tell me that that's not beautiful? I mean, that is just beautiful. I don't want to say the word, so I'm not gonna. But that just looks perfect. All right, guys. See you back up top. All right, guys, and we're back with the Arco Tank by Horizon Tech. So let's do pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. To be honest, I really only have one con with this tank, and it's not even that big of a con, but I want to mention it. Um, and that would be that the top of this tank seems to get really hot really quick, um, hotter than any other sub ohm tank that I have. I'm not sure why it does that, but I just wanted to point it out. All right, so on to the pros. 
first Pro, there's virtually no break in time whatsoever with these coils. Um, the flax paper, it, whatever it's doing, it's really, really helping to improve flavor and improve that break in time. With most, you know, strictly cotton coils, you have that kind of break in time. You can taste the cotton or your juice just doesn't taste right. This doesn't have that. You do have to prime the hell out of these coils. Um, the coil takes a lot of juice when you're priming it. But as long as you prime it correctly, there's no break in time whatsoever. And besides the break in time, the flavor is phenomenal. It beats any of the smock sub ohm tanks that I have. Um, I was really liking the Baby Beast for the longest time, but now that I got this in, I'm not even thinking about using the Baby Beast anymore because the flavor on this is great. Uh, my fiance uses the uh, Vaporesso, which is a Target Pro, I believe, which has the C cell ceramic coils. And she tried this and she even loves it. Um, she will only vape the ceramic coils. She says that she gets the best flavor off of the ceramic coils. She's not a rebuildable person, so she's just strictly sub ohm. And now I have to buy another one of these for her because she loves it. Next pro, the top fill is absolutely simple to use. It's an awesome design. It seals perfectly and just, I I'm loving the top fill. It's just so easy to use. Another pro is the tank capacity. I like tanks that hold, you know, over four milliliters of e-liquid. Although Horizon Tech states that this tank holds five mLs, when I use a syringe to test it, I'm getting just over four and a half mLs. But still, to me, that's a pro. Next pro, the airflow is super smooth. I really like the airflow. Um, I run everything wide open that's just me that's how i am regardless of the coil head that you're using the airflow on this is perfect i'm really loving it um and with that said let's have a vape so that's wide open airflow let's turn it down to about three quarters of the way open That was three quarters, and this is about half. Personally, I won't go any tighter than that. Um, like I said, I like it wide open, but even halfway, the airflow is still super smooth. It's a little bit more of a restrictive lung hit, but it's still a very nice vape. All right, another pro would be the colors. I think that the vacuum plating on the tank is gorgeous. I really like this blue. Blue is my favorite color. And this is just a very, very nice looking tank. So I've seen all the other colors and they all look fantastic. So to me, that's definitely a pro. All right, the last pro would definitely be these coil heads. These coil heads are awesome. They seem to last a really long time. Um, I've been vaping on this one for about eight days now and the flavor is still just as good as it was on the first day. The flax paper seems to really stop the coils from getting all gunked up prematurely and in return it also stops your cotton from getting all gunked up. The flax paper also doesn't seem to burn as quickly as just straight cotton does. Also the flax paper that is used in these coils is actual 100% flax paper. So it is a 100% organic material and it is made from the fibers of the plant. So, so far this flax paper is proving to be pretty amazing. Um, I'm really, really liking it and I really think it's something that we're gonna see a lot more of. All right, so overall, um, if I lost this tank, broke this tank, somebody stole this tank, I would most certainly go out and buy another. Chances are I would buy one of each color. And um, I'm actually going to be ordering another one for my fiance. And I'll probably order another one for myself in maybe the rainbow color just to match, you know, another mod that I have. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it really is my go-to sub ohm tank now. I mean, I haven't been using any other sub ohm tanks other than this one. And for the price for $32.99, I don't think you can go wrong. All right, guys, thanks for watching. All the links will be down in the description. If you want, 
write a comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more and vape on.